Have you ever heard the phrase, it takes a village to raise a child, and really wondered what that meant? Does it mean that my neighbor is raising my child, or my neighbor is there for me if I need help with my child? It is difficult to imagine the agony a parent must feel when they are told their child has a mental illness or an emotional or behavioral disorder. Many families start searching for information and help in the yellow pages. Once they find help, they're often put on a waiting list. A million thoughts race through their minds, such as, does this disability affect my child's ability to learn, to lead a good life as an adult? Is there a cure? What do other parents do? Having a child with special needs can understandably have significant repercussions upon the entire family. Untreated social and emotional problems in children have serious physical consequences for our communities and state because they affect the child's ability to develop and learn. To ignore these social and emotional needs for at-risk youth is to increase their potential for violence, illiteracy, substance abuse, incarceration, and the need for residential care. According to the Children's Mental Health Act of Illinois 2003, one in 10 children in Illinois suffers from a mental illness severe enough to cause some level of impairment. This brief DVD is intended to disclose specific ways Southern Illinois communities, or villages if you will, are coming together to change these statistics and step up to the need of our children and families. In Illinois, we have several villages unique with individual strengths and weaknesses. No two look the same, just as no two families are the same. So why do we assume that all services designed to help children and families should be provided by a few state agencies and limited service providers? According to the U.S. Surgeon General, only one in five children identified with an emotional disturbance receives needed help. The report indicates that to address the multiple needs of these children and their families, there must be integrated service systems. Isn't it more logical to call upon not one, but several experts in the village to collaborate, to help children and families in need, and then consult these community members about what works best for their unique communities? Wouldn't it make more sense if services and resources were designed around the individual needs of the child and family? In essence, the services would fit the child and family rather than the child and family fitting the services. Many communities that have formed collaborative councils recognize this fragmentation in traditional services and see the need to collaborate. They formed local councils called Child and Adolescent Local Area Networks, otherwise known as C and A LANs. Child and Adolescent Local Area Networks are highly concerned about at-risk children. These are the children who are in danger of leaving their communities, schools, or homes due to educational, behavioral, or mental health needs. Social services workers, mental health agencies, people of faith, educators, business people, and other volunteers come together through the lands and wraparound teams. Wraparound is a strength-based approach to social service planning. It puts the family at the head of the planning process. The wraparound team works together to design unique interventions and services that are wrapped around the family's identified needs. Once a coordinated wraparound plan is completed, it is taken to the child and adolescent lands for advice, resources, and flexible funds, also known as flex funds. Flex funds are assessed through a land screening process when traditional funding sources fall short or simply are not available. Some of the things these funds pay for include therapy, mentors, day camps, school activity fees, tutoring, recreational fees, books, transportation to doctors and therapists, car repairs, groceries, school clothes, fences, locks, beds, furniture, etc. Many goods and services, including labor, are often donated by the community, and most times little if any flex fund money is required. After CNA lands were developed, many at-risk children were stabilized in their communities through wraparound. The cost savings was soon evident because fewer children were being sent to expensive residential placements. Wraparound cost pennies on the dollar compared to residential treatment. 
In 2004, using wraparound and shared resources in southern Illinois, 11 local area networks saved the state $415,000. They used wraparound to divert at-risk children from being placed in more restrictive care such as therapeutic day schools, hospitals, residential treatment centers, and jail. Now, the Southern 11 CNA lands have organized to form the Southern Illinois Child and Adolescent Local Area Networks, known as SILANs. SILAN is a voluntary unpaid council. They accept donations, grants, and other monies. These funds flow through the council directly to the individual 11 local area networks. Each land has a vote on the SILANs council. The RAP program has helped me and my family a great deal. Some of the ways are my mom has less stress on her worrying about what me and my brother is wearing tomorrow and she would save up enough money to buy me and my brother something to sleep on. Some of the other ways it has helped are with counseling and my big brother. Now I don't have to sit in the house all day wondering why I don't have any friends. Now that they are here, I have something to look forward to besides school. AI Land 12. Keith attended Camp Ortberg for the past three years. RAP allowed Keith to attend camp by paying for it. Keith has the possibility to work at the camp this summer as a junior counselor. Richard, Land 5. When I was at a very difficult low in my life with my autistic son, I was introduced to RAP around. It helped me by teaching me how to cope with the severe difficulties that come along with being a parent of a child with autism. It also helped my other kids learn how to focus on their strengths and how to be an individual and yet be a part of the solution instead of the problem. My son cannot do group sports at the school and was feeling left out. He was unable to do more than a one-step command. He also was over-focusing on the wrong things and had no self-esteem. RAP helped to fund him to be in Taekwondo I am proud to say that now, four years later, he has his black belt, has confidence that it is okay to be him, and he now can do many step commands. RAP did not pay for all four years, but it did help us to let him get started and keep him going for a while. RAP also helped us by supplying money for his food. He is on a very specialized diet that is very expensive. We had to choose between feeding him and paying bills. RAP helped us to get his food he so desperately needed. Without RAP, I truly am not sure where I would be. I know that my son would not be anywhere near as advanced as he is now, and I would not be as able to cope with the stress as I am now. LD Land 5. RAP has helped me get the stuff that I need. They helped me do the things that my mom and dad could not afford. It helped me turn my anger into something positive, instead of taking my anger and doing something negative. They let me do karate so I can learn to control myself. They got my whole family a YMCA membership, and since we got that, we have been spending more time together. I have bipolar, ADD, and ADHD. With all of their help, I am able to focus better. I don't get mad a lot. I pay attention in class. I can sleep better at night. That is how RAP has helped me. MC Land 12. Because we are convinced that helping families in our communities with a strength-based, needs-driven approach is vital to their healing, we are still committed to showing up to help them. Silands will not give up. We are speaking as one voice, 11 local area networks covering 34 southern Illinois counties. Please consider becoming a Silands neighbor, where we welcome you, your insight, and your financial contributions.